Well, the annual CVS Health Charity Classic has wrapped up at Rhode Island Country Club. And WPRI 12 and Fox Providence are proud sponsors of that tournament, which ended this afternoon with a playoff involving the reigning champs and one of the tournament hosts. Eyewitness News anchor Patrick Little is live at Rhode Island Country Club in Barrington. Well, the champs are still the champs. Keegan Bradley and John Curran winning on the first playoff hole today. So they're your winners. Sports director Yanni Caracas will have all the highlights coming up at 6 o'clock. This is really a kind of a downer of a day, to be honest with you, because the tournament is over. But the good news is it was another huge success, both on and off the golf course. Final total has not been released yet, but uh, after 18 years, close to $20 million has now been raised for local charities. It was a mix of young and old this year at the CVS Health Charity Classic. A couple of first-timers and guys like Brad Faxon and Billy Andre that have played in all 18 of them. And then there's 18-year-old Brooke Henderson, who was only a year and a half old when the first Charity Classic was held back in 1999. I love it here. I've been, I was here at the U.S. Amateur maybe five years ago, and I'm really happy to be back. And one of the great things about this event is, despite their busy schedules, the top players in the world always want to come back and sometimes they even beg Brad and Billy to get invited back again. This is one of my most uh, enjoyable events I come to every year. I love the area, the course is great, the weather's great, fans are unbelievable and um, you know hopefully I, they keep inviting me back for years to come. I think they will see I'm not winning so I think I got a good chance. Uh, it's always a win to be here. Uh, it's a win for the charities really uh, here locally in Rhode Island who without this event might not even exist. And we have much more coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. Former Red Sox pitcher Tim Wakefield and former New England Patriot Hall of Famer Andre Tippett, they both played today in part of a celebrity group. And it was really interesting to see these two athletes who always look so comfortable in their own arenas, whether it be the football field or in the baseball field. They looked comfortable there, but they didn't look very comfortable before they teed off today. So it was pretty interesting stuff. We had a chance to chat with both. That's coming up at 6. Live in Barrington, I'm Patrick Little, Eyewitness News. Well, another summer and another CBS Charity Classic in the books. Not long ago, a winner was crowned following a neck-and-neck -neck dash in the final stretch. Let's get right to sports director Yanni Caracas and anchor Patrick Little with more from the Rhode Island Country Club in Barrington. Another great day out here. Of course, there was the great golf. There was a seven-time Grammy Award-winning mm -hmm. singer of a band, an NFL Hall of Famer that played for the Patriots, and a two-time World Series champ that played for the Red Sox. Oh, and by the way, there was also some great golf. Yeah, we'll get to that stuff. Playoff yeah. for the first time in 10 years. You know, Brad Fax and Billy Andrade have been hosting this for 18 yep. years, but not once has either guy won the tournament. Could today be that day? Andre and his playing partner Bill Haas finished at minus 18. Same score as the defending champs. So the playoff we go. Andre with a tough birdie attempt. He just misses the defending champs Keegan Bradley and John Curran. Bradley, after a terrific approach, had a seven-footer for the win. He nails it. Keegan Bradley and John Curran repeat as champions. Co-host Billy Andre comes up just short yet again. So coming up in sports, we'll hear um, from the winners and, of course, from the tournament hosts. Now back to that other stuff. Yeah. You know, it's so strange to see guys like Tim Wakefield, who we see in front of tens of thousands at Fenway pitching in those big pressure situations, and Andre Tippett. I mean, the guy's a Hall of Famer in the right. NFL. He looks so comfortable just crushing people out on the football field. Well, to see those two here today at Rhode Island Country Club playing a part of a celebrity group, to be nervous playing a sport in front of fans was pretty interesting, and here's how their day went. Well, it's not every day you get a group like this together, a World Series champ in Tim Wakefield, an NFL Hall of Famer, Andre Tippett, and Charles Kelly, a singer in a band that's won seven Grammys. You've pitched in some big pressure situations. Uh, this is a little bit different type of pressure. Hello! Yeah, it's completely different. I'm, I'm a little nervous. I haven't even stepped on the first tee yet. Tim Wakefield. So I was just talking to Steve Stricker, you know. He's used to this kind of pressure, and I'm used to the different kind of pressure. But uh, I'm just excited to be here, and I'm thankful for the invite from CVS and here to raise as much money for CVS charities as we can. Well, we're playing uh, a Lady, Lady Anna Bell's playing tonight, and, uh, and you know, it's for, uh, for charity, so we always love to kind of be able to do what we do and tie it in with, a, you know, a great cause. And they asked if I wanted to come out and play golf and, and, in the uh, celebrity group. I said, well, if you want a, a D-less celebrity like myself, and I'll be, I'll be there. 
you've been a lot, been a part of a lot of cool stuff, you know, in your career in the Hall of Fame and, and playing in big games. Uh, where does this rank as far as nerves go? Andre Tippett. Ooh, this is, I was just telling my caddy, I said, just want to just put it down there. Get it airborne? Going, yeah, you know. But the good news is if anybody heckles you, you can just tackle them. Yeah, well, I'm, I'll send my caddy out to do it. You don't do that anymore? Yeah, yeah, it hurts. <laughs> the good news is neither Andre nor his caddy had to tackle anybody. Today. Everyone was safe. Yes. Now, coming up in sports, we'll have those full highlights. And what Keegan Bradley said to Billy Andrade when he handed him the trophy. That's pretty <laughs> funny. Coming up, that's in sports. Live in Barrington for Patrick Little. I'm Yanni Krakis. Guys, back to you.